chapter five of your book, you talk about how the the mix of developers is changing. And and you actually cited, I'm going to pull up the graphic here in just a second. You actually cited a Gartner report that said even as soon as maybe 2023, nearly 80% of applications are going to be developed using no-code creators or citizen developers. What were some of your thoughts when you came across this Gartner report? Well, I cite Gartner, Forrester, PwC, KPMG, McKinsey, um, Microsoft has its own Future of Work Institute, uh, Slack's Future Forum, which is underneath Salesforce. So it wasn't just one report, but yeah, that one I thought was particularly interesting. And in fact, if anything, Jason, it may be understating matters. Um, Microsoft did some research and According to them, of the next 450 million business apps, 400 million, so 88.88%, would be of this no-code, low-code variety. So I made sure that I didn't lean too much on one vendor because one vendor or research outfit or think tank could be wrong. But all the signals were pointing to the fact that this was exploding. Uh, Gartner predicts that I think this year the total low-code, no-code market will be about $15 billion dollars. And even though that doesn't compare to ERP or security or cloud computing, I think it was Einstein who said that uh, the most powerful uh, law in the universe is exponential growth. So if things are growing that fast, pretty soon it will be 50 or 80 or $100 billion. So there's no doubt in my mind that as the tools become more powerful and companies attempt to roll out new technologies, you know, I mean, the low-code, no-code tools really do solve, in many cases, a long-standing business problem, as you know, this IT business divide. If I had a nickel for every time I worked on a project, in which case the IT people thought X and the business folks thought Y, um, I'd be buying both of us uh, a nice lunch. Um, So the fact that you can have these citizen developers who know marketing, payroll, finance, sales, operations, whatever, a lot better than folks and don't have the time or the desire to write out these detailed requirements that are going to take three to six months to get deployed when you can basically build an app, as I write in the book in a few hours or a few days, depending on the complexity. And if you know what you're doing, I just, I failed to see how, even though we can talk about some of the downsides of low code, no code development, I failed to see how the general trend is not incredibly uh, up into the right hockey stick, like if you will. 